What is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Uh, first of all, I want to tell you guys that I'm really, really sorry for not making the video yesterday. I was meant to make this video yesterday, but I I completely forgot. So, uh, quick story, I came back from the gym because I was very, very dizzy. I didn't finish my workout. Uh, I felt very dizzy. Um, I'm not sure what it was. Maybe it's a, like a water or a food or like sugar. But I was very dizzy, so I went home early, and I didn't feel good, and I was I meant to make this video, but I ended up not doing it and forgetting it. Um, but anyways, we'll do it today, and uh, I hope you're having a great day. It's a very nice, beautiful day here in Holland, uh, for the first time ever, pretty much. So, um, but today is going to be different, uh, a different type of video. Uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about, you know, some subjects that on my mind. I like to talk about stuff. I like to, you know, you know, my opinions are very important to me, um, I'm a very opinionated person, um, I guess, um, but yeah, so I want to talk about confidence and arrogance today, because I see a lot of people, uh, especially with sports athletes and stuff, um, confusing arrogance and cockiness with, with confidence, so for example, uh, people like Floyd Mayweather, who will always say they are uh, better than their opponent, Right or people like Cristiano Ronaldo who think that they're the best in the world, uh, who believe that. Um, so I put uh, the definition of, of confidence. I put it up on my phone right now. Uh, a feeling or showing confidence in oneself or one's abilities or qualities. So uh, with people like Cristiano Ronaldo or, or whatever, whoever it is, a, a an athlete who is a world class athlete who is saying he is the best in the world is only him showing that he's he believes in himself uh, in his abilities and qualities. In my opinion, I I see it this way. Um, so. If you look at the definition of arrogance, it's having or revealing exaggerated sense of own important importance of abilities. Um, so this is how I see it. I like to be confident. I like to be over overly confident in most part. I like to believe in myself um, more than anything in the world, right? So, and I really, I would really suggest you do that too, uh, because if you believe in yourself on a high level, I feel like you can achieve more because your mindset is in a different place than, than I would say the average person, right? Um, so, okay, the difference between confidence and arrogance, this is why I see it. Confidence is looking at it from your own perspective. Like, um, I'm gonna run a race and I think I can beat this person because I think I can run faster than him. I believe that. Uh, that does not make me a better person, that does not make me, you know, more worth than the other person I'm racing, but I believe I can do it, right? That's, for me, that's confidence. Uh, then there's arrogance, when on the other hand, it's like, I'm gonna beat him, and I'm worth more than this person, right? Um, I am more important than this person, like, I am better than this person, I'm a better human being in this than this other person. Uh, that's what I think is arrogance or cockiness, right? Uh, I think there's a very, very big difference right here, right? So with confidence, you believe in yourself. No one else matters in a sense that in, in confidence, only you that matters, right? You only believe in your abilities or your qualities or whatever you're doing, you believe in you. Um, with arrogance, all the other people matter too because you are better than them. And that's the biggest difference, I think, between confidence and arrogance. And that's why I think I respect athletes like Floyd Mayweather or Cristiano Ronaldo because I can see that they they don't care about being a better human being or finding it important that they are more worth than the other person. I see that when they're talking about their their sport, you know, their their thing, they feel like they're the best at that. And I, I think that's confidence. I don't think that's arrogance. I think that's confidence. And, and that's what I want to talk about because, um, I mean, so many people so fast would say like, oh, this guy's arrogant or like, this guy's cocky. Well, if you look, look, really look at it, these guys are just, they're pro sports athletes, right? They believe in themselves more than anything. And if you do that too, and I, I, I firmly believe this, if you do that too, if you are so confident in yourself and your abilities, 
while not thinking you're more important or better than some other person, but looking at it from you, your perspective, and you, your world, your little confidence world, you can, be, you can achieve anything. I mean, if you really believe in the back of your mind, I can do this, I'm going to go for it, then I think you're going to go to all the places in the world. You can achieve anything you would like. And I think that's the most important thing about reaching goals is the mindset behind it. And I think you need that confident mindset um, in the back of your mind. However, this is another point. You have to be realistic as well. Um, you can be overly confident. Yeah, sure. Um, I could say uh, I'm, I'm going to be faster than Usain Bolt one time in my life. This, this thought makes me work harder to achieve that goal. But also, there is a 99.999% chance that I will never be faster than Usain Bolt. And I know this. But at the same time, I could say, I want to be faster. And I can be faster if I work hard for it, right? So that's also very important, realism. To be realistic in your own, you know, your own little confidence world. Because a confidence is not like... It is a thought. It is something that can drive you to achieve something, right? But realism, if you add realism to that, you have the, I, in my opinion, the perfect mix. Um, because you know you can work for something, you want to work for something, you believe you can do it, but at the same time you say, hey, probably not, but I'm going to go for it. And, uh, and then the, I think that's very beautiful. And I think um, that is a lesson we can all learn from these pro athletes that dedicate their life to a sport or whatever it is, a business or um, whatever it is. And I think that's beautiful and I think that's awesome and I think you don't have to be scared to be confident um, just because people label you as cocky or arrogant because you know, well, un unless you are really arrogant and you feel like you're, you're more worth than some other person, um, but I don't think anyone has that attention um, naturally. But yeah, that's just my, you know, I like to talk about things. We are well, we're seven minutes. This goes fast. Um, I really like talking about this. This is a different type of video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, let me know in the comment section down below if you like this kind of videos. Because, you know, I'd like to talk more uh, about these things and how, you know, uh, how I go about my life. Because this is me. I mean, I am overly confident. I know I can do 500,000 subscribers. I know I can do that. Will it ever happen? Realism? Maybe not, but probably, <laughs> you know, this, this is, this might be confusing to you, but this is really how I look at it, right? So I believe I can do it. Will it happen? The future will tell, but I will keep believing that I can do it no matter how long it takes. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. Leave the thumbs up in the video. I really hope you enjoyed the workout footage that I put uh, beneath this or underneath this, I don't know, uh, on top of this commentary. And uh, I'll talk to you guys in another video. Um, tomorrow or the day after. I might go water skiing tomorrow, so that might be a lot of fun. Thank you guys for listening, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Deuces!